Alrighty, in this video I'd like to show you some things that you can do once you have Firefox, uh, the, brow the Mozilla, Mozilla Firefox browser. Uh, what you notice, first of all, is it looks very similar to uh, many applications that you're used to. It has menus on top that have different things that you can do. File, you can have a new window, you can do tabbed browsing. Uh, tab browsing lets you have multiple tabs up at once. Um, it lets you do a lot of different things. Bookmarks, you can bookmark, um, save a page so that it's here if you want it. Um, tools, you can do different things. Now, one thing that I think is really powerful of, of Firefox is that underneath tools, you can uh, install add-ons. Add-ons are different things that people have created to make it a better uh, browser. And let me just open this up a little more so you can see. So right here you can see, here's a couple that they've recommended. You can have uh, better Gmail where you can add skins, um, different things, have macro signatures. And so you can improve Gmail. You can have customized Google, stumble upon. This finds websites based on how you browse. It finds things that you may like. Um, some other things that you can do though is just click over here on browse all add-ons. And you can look through. There's a lot of different add-ons you can do. Um, you can search for your add-ons. Let's say that you want to go ahead and have a games add-on. So you can see that there's one for chess, the low price games helper, mines. So there's a couple of different add-ons you can do. And all you have to do is search through and find an add-on that works for your needs and your, your likes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for a developer add-on and I, you can see I've already typed it in it remembers my searching there so I'm going to go ahead and search developer now web developer this is one that I've used in the past and it's a really great add-on it puts in um, some developer tools inside the browser so that I can see how other web pages are designed and you can see that there's been 33,642 average uh, downloads this is weekly which means this gets downloaded quite frequently and it has a rating here of five stars it's actually a really good uh, add-on so let me go ahead and click add to Firefox and so I'm gonna go ahead it gives me a warning to do it only from developers I trust I do trust this one I've used it before and all I have to do is it takes a few seconds once it's downloaded it says install now I click on that and now it says restart Firefox to complete your changes. It's already installed it. I'm just going to restart it. I'm going to restart. It'll close the tabs. And now it tells me that one new add-on has been installed. Now I can uninstall it here. I'm just going to go ahead and close this. And it has a new tab that tells me um, I guess it doesn't. I thought it would have a new tab telling me about it. But the add-on toolbar, or the developer toolbar, you can see right here, it has all of these developer tools that I can use. So if you're a web developer, this is a powerful feature. Maybe you want to disable cookies uh, from the website. Maybe you want to disable the style. Um, let me just go ahead and turn off this and see what the web page looks like without any of their styling. So you can do that for any web page. Let me just go ahead and uncheck that so it brings the style back. You can also view their CSS, which is how they created their design for the web page. So this is a powerful, let me just go ahead, oh, that opened up in a new tab. So this is a powerful feature for web designers. Images, you can see all the different images on here, information. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do using add-ons. Now let's say that I don't want to have this toolbar always present. All I do is I right click and let's say maybe I have to be on it. Oh here we go. Options. Options. I can hide it. I hit OK. It doesn't look like it hit it but let me see. Anyway before you used to be able to just, there we go, you right click over here and you just turn off the development toolbar and you right click and this is my first time using this as well so I'm a little bit behind but you can see there's lots of powerful features on using this 
When you have made a toolbar disappear and you can't find it again, simply go up to View, Toolbars, Web Developer Toolbar, and it appears there again. Now you can also turn it off the same way. View, Toolbars, Web Developer, View, Toolbars. Maybe you want to turn off your Bookmarks Toolbar. So that way you can go ahead and turn those on or off by using them. Now there's a lot of different um, there's a lot of different add-ins that you can use. Just go ahead and search through, find the ones that you like, find some that you think may relate to what you're doing. Now inside of the Firefox add-ons, since anybody can create these, there are occasions where some of them may not work or they may not work well with the combination that you have on your installed on your browser. So what you can do is if you know that one is causing some trouble, or maybe it just doesn't work as well as you had hoped, you can just go up to Tools, Add-ons, and you can select your add-on, and you can disable it, or you can even uninstall it. So maybe you have a couple of different add-ons installed, and you just want to disable one to see if it's interfering with another one. You can also click on Plugins, and you can see different plugins um, that you can add to enhance the usability of this. For example, here you can see Adobe PDF plugin. So it lets you uh, read PDFs, and you can probably get a plugin that will let you create PDFs right from Firefox. So there's a lot of different ones. You can also change the themes, uh, which is great. You can get more add-ons, like I said before. Um, browse all add-ons right here. And you can see there's a whole bunch. You can click through. Maybe you're big into photos, music, and video. You can just find different ones. You can read the reviews on each one, see how other people recommend them, and find out what works best for you. So hopefully this will help you in using Firefox and make your internet browsing experience much more pleasant. This short tutorial has been brought to you by sterlingteaches.com.